Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. I'm your host, Renovate. Guys, you can see down there in the bottom left-hand corner, we have $46 million. Yes, I have been playing for a while. It's actually 1953. And basically all I've been doing since last episode is upgrading our roads and kind of getting them in a little bit more of a uh, an ideal situation. So you can see that we're starting to get this nice snake pattern that goes all the way through the towns. And then these are getting connected. So we got uh, another little town that's actually connected now, which is down here, which is called Hale or Hylia. <laughs> I have no idea what that city is called, but it's connected now to our main network. And the last thing I did was we had three grain uh, productions down here. So we have this one, this one, and this one. So I connected them to this main thoroughfare into San Jose, which then will eventually take it all the way to this plant here. So uh, because this plant is now, if we go to consumers, it's now con uh, producing for three different uh, cities and it's shipping almost all of it, all right? So if we go to San Jose, you can see that we're about 60% of the food that they're requiring. I think uh, Jackson is the other one. So we're doing about 60% there as well. And Bakersfield, I believe, uh, they're not getting any food. So that's gonna be another food, but we need to probably find another one of these. This guy is getting ready to go to tier three. So I don't know how much more production that they can do. They're only storing four and they're consuming 432. And I have this place, this place, and now these two places over here supplying them. So we might have to issue a third one or, I'm sorry, a fifth one, or we activate this one over here and try to find a way to uh, supply some more people that way. Uh, the other thing that I did was we came over here near, let's see, where are we at? It's hard to when you rotate the map, sometimes they get lost. Okay, we're way over here. Okay, so you can see this big loop we have right here, this highway loop. You would think, well, why didn't you just come around like this? Well, I could, but all our productions and stuff are on this lower half, so this makes more sense. We might do like a little shortcut just for deliveries to go from this side to this side. We'll have to see. But uh, what I'm planning on doing, though, this is our only energy production right here, and it's just not getting enough oil at all. So, and all my oil is coming from way up here. So you can see here that we have all this oil that's sitting here, and then it gets transported, transported down to here. This one's getting ready to... Um, go to the next level here but it's just it can't produce enough there's nothing sitting in the parking lot and it doesn't matter you see all these trucks all these trucks are supplying this it just can't keep up with demand so we might have to activate this one the only problem is there is no oil around here so we're either going to have to uh cut off this one or something else but these plants if you click on them they require two suppliers to make gas so i have one here and i have one here so the best thing that we could probably do is take these two and kind of funnel them down and over to that other plant where's it at uh it's way down here all right so the only way i can see of doing that is by train <laughs> and so this might be our first available train deal so what i wanted to look at before we get into trains though is let's go in and I want to see, let's go into trains, uh, how much are tracks? It doesn't really tell us the cost of tracks, does it? Buildings, um, and it doesn't tell us, so $200,000. This is for a passenger train, so we don't want that. We want, um, we basically want cargoes. So there's a cargo station here, that's 214000 A train depot is 25000 okay? We'll deal with signals uh, later. I'll explain those to you. But if we go to this, um, does it tell us? We can't really look at how much trains cost because we don't have a thing that's open for trains yet. So let's look at this real quick. Um, I'm trying to see, like, we have this one and this one's going here. So these two, is there another supplier? There's one way down here with a third one. So, and we got these two that can supply to Lafayette. So these two could supply that one. So I'm kind of uh, in a predicament here. So if we did a train 
a train station that went straight through here, came straight across, and then looped up. This is kind of in a weird situation here too. We have wood here, wood here, a wood processing here. Right. I just don't want to cut off our supply chains. Uh, so I'm thinking that the best thing to do would be bring the train up and around and then right into here. So we could probably follow this road like this and then come straight through here. I think that'd be the best route. Okay, so let's try this. Let's set this up. This should be kind of interesting. So we want, first off, we want to do tracks. Okay, actually we want buildings. So this is a passenger terminal. This is a cargo, all right? So over here, you can see how many tracks do you want? One or two? Uh, we just want one for right now, okay? So we're gonna put this down here. Let's rotate this. Actually, we wanna turn it this way because I think I can attach it. Yes, I can. So we can attach it to this station or we set it off like this. Mm, actually, I kinda wanna, yeah, well, we just need a truck to go to and from the place. So let's, um, if we're gonna, or if we're gonna follow that, yeah, let's go ahead and rotate it this direction, all right? And then I don't think it's gonna be kind of hard. So we're gonna put the train, I think we wanna keep it this way. The only reason I wanna keep it this way is because <clears throat> if we need to expand this, we can. And I wanna keep the traffic on this side of the road, all right? So let's go ahead and put this here for now. Let's just, let's just go with it, all right? So we'll go like this, okay? And then I can click on this and configure it, all right? And so now I have platforms, and you can see we have platforms for passengers and platforms for cargo. And so we can put these platforms on here for cargo, all right? And then we have cargo buildings where we can also store even more stuff. Uh, but the one thing that I wanna do is start with tracks. So these are standard tracks with limited speed capabilities, um, specialized tracks for high speed rails. I don't wanna get into high speed rails yet, but I do wanna get into these, all right? So let's click on this. Oh, I don't wanna do that yet. There we go. So I wanna go here and go to, um, see, I want rails. There they are, rails. Nope, that's not rails. Why not? Tracks, there we go, standard tracks. So if we go like this, all right, so that's gonna come in like that, check. And then I wanna come like this, check. And then we wanna bend. Woo, we almost didn't make it. So it's it's creating its own bends, which is kinda cool. So we're gonna run this straight down through here like this, boom. And we're just gonna follow this road all the way through town. Actually, let's come to like right there. All right, so that's gonna follow our main our main drag. All right, and then what we need to do here is let's go back into here, and then we'll do street. Uh, let's just do. Um, how do we want to do this? Because I need this to be part of this. So we're gonna need a station here. All right. Oh, that's a bus tram. Sorry. Uh, see buildings. We got new buildings. That's cool. Let's go like this. Um, we can rotate this around and then let's put that there and then we just need one that's connected to this right actually we could do it that way i never thought about that so if we rotated this i would only need that so it's supplying and then it's supplying that i don't know if that's going to work <laughs> we'll see if it works all right and then we need to um let's go to streets actually we need to come in actually we can do streets let's do streets let's see first uh let's go into this oh, streets curved like that okay and let's see since these are connected if this will actually output into here and then output into here okay we'll see if it doesn't then we'll make a little truck route that goes from here to here to here to here all right so that's going to do that and then let's go back over to our trains okay so we need track so what we're going to want to do is grab this whoops no don't do that i'm going to grab this and then let's see well, it let us do a bridge um is it shift and m yeah it's shift i think it's shift m how do we get bridges again i forget so all right is it letting me go across that street it's saying it's got a collision so it's not letting me go across the road all right we just didn't have it long enough so we just needed to go like this just go just keep going because it's going to stay red until you get to a certain point and it's got to make those pillars all right so we're going to do that so we're still doing good on funds let's keep going 
down the road. All right, so that's good. And then where are we ultimately wanting to be? Uh, there's the two oil refineries. So we're gonna come down and probably do a little S curve through this. So let's just keep going. And you're gonna need another bridge here. So let's take this and go like this. All right, let's say no. All right, let's turn around. <laughs> it might be because we're too low over here. So if we go up, there we go. It's a little tricky, it really is. All right, there's another bridge. We probably should have kept that bridge. All right, let's do, uh, let's erase this whole entire bridge. And then let's do this again. So let's keep this at that height. There we go. And where are we at down here? So that's still good. So we'll keep that. So this will stay up above the grade. All right, so that's good. So we're keeping that up above so they can go under it for traffic. That worked. And then we're gonna kind of S curve right through here. So let's kind of go like this and then kind of come straight and then we'll raise the bridge back up. There we go. And then we're gonna head straight over to these two areas here. So why don't we come over here real quick? Let's start a little distribution area over here, all right? So let's go back to this and streets. Let's do this type and this, all right? So let's do, let's connect these two together. So let's get uh, this little curved road, we'll come like this and connect him into that one, all right? And then we'll upgrade his roads and his roads. Now they're not gonna be going anywhere else other than to the, the train station, okay? But we do need to have these buildings here. So we're gonna have to have a building here, all right? So there'll be a building here and we'll have uh, another building over here, all right? Like this, all right, perfect. So these two guys will be delivering their stuff into the hub. So if we do, uh, oops, not that one. We wanna go this one, streets, and then, uh, I mean, we could have it go both ways. I'm thinking that we should probably have like a one way in and one way out street. So if we do that, uh, here's the one way in, one way out street. I don't want to cause any congestion, but this might be the best. So if we come in like this, then let's make a curve. That's a horrible curve. That's a good, that's a good curve. <laughs> and then let's do uh, another street straight. And then let's do uh, another street out. And then we'll do a straight street in like this. All right, and then let's get uh, to the train stations. We'll go to buildings. So we need another one of these cargo stations, okay? So we're gonna go, um, probably need to rotate this this direction, I'm guessing. Let's do it a little bit more so it's lined up with that. And we will put it about right there, okay? And then we're gonna take another one of these buildings right here and put it, you know what, if we put it, can we put it like, yeah, we can. Okay, that's perfect. All right, so that's connected to that. All right, that's perfect. And then this station can have uh, a couple of terminals here. So we can do cargo buildings or platforms. Let's do cargo and we can put some cargo platforms on here. That works. All right, so that's that train. And then we're gonna go to track here. Actually, let's go, let's get out of here. Now we'll go back to this, go to track, and we are going to look where we're at. So we're here, we need to come right around to here, okay? So we need to take this track straight like this. Looks like it's in the ground. Now, do are we gonna need that road? Um, we could probably reroute that road. So let's do this. We can probably reroute this later. All right, grab that, let's come through here like so. That works there. And then you can kind of see where we're coming through. So we're probably gonna come, whoops, probably come from this one straight down like this. And then we'll take that up if, we, if it'll let us. There we go, it did let us. All right, where are we at? We could probably just connect this like this, boom. Perfect, I love it. All right, that way we can get, it's pretty from Bakersfield. We'll call it the Bakersfield Bridge, okay? So then we're just gonna go ahead back over to this. We'll do buildings. We need to do a, uh, a road depot. We'll probably put the road depot here, okay? And we're gonna create a route that's gonna go from here 
to here and we will name that uh san jose do we have a san jose fuel yet san jose no we do not so we'll name this where did it go we'll name this the san oops capital letters please san jose uh fuel let's just do san jose uh let's do f supply one all right and then we will make another line from here to here same thing and we're going to name it san jose f supply two all right so let's go down here we'll find these so here's f supply one that is this one here so we're going to do san jose west we're going to load all of this all right we're not unloading anything and then over here at the san jose central we're going to unload all the fuel all right so that one's done and then this one the same thing upper san jose we're going to load the fuel all right, and then here we're going to unload the fuel. Cool. So that's done. All right, so uh, we don't have to worry about that. All right, and then so all we have to do now is with the trains. All right, so let's start the train. He's going to go back and forth, back and forth. So this is a two way train. I need to see our train lines. Oh, we don't have a train line yet. We haven't designated it. All right, cool. So we have to designate our train lines now. Cool. All right, so let's go over here. We'll create a line. Uh, let's see, roads and Home Depot's rail lines. Uh, so why would that be under rail line? It shouldn't. It's showing it is, though, doesn't it? All right, so San Jose Central. Interesting. So if I go back to, they both have a central hub. Yeah, all right. So we're going to create a new line from here to, where is our train station? <laughs> to here, all right? There. That is going to be, um, let's just name it SJ to Independence uh, Gas. All right. So that's done. So if we click on that one, SJ to Independence Gas. So from San Jose, we are going to load all the fuel. And then at Independence, we're going to unload all the fuel. All right. So let's click on that. Unload all the fuel. All right, and then now if we go to over here, we can actually buy a train depot like this. All right, so, and we have to kind of arrange these like this so that they can actually work. So we probably want to put this guy over here at this place first. That way when he takes off, he actually goes in the right direction. Uh, they automatically turn around on their own. So don't worry about that part. So let's do uh, this hopefully like if we put it I think we can put it like that should be good like that and then let's do tracks and then we can come straight out of here into this boom all right there we go so now we can go in here and we can say buy vehicles so that's what we're looking at so we want um you can click on any of these all right so we don't want any passenger we want cargo and it doesn't really matter if they're diesel so this is the diesel ones this is the electric ones, and you can kind of see their speed. Diesel's 80, steam is slow as crap. Uh, I don't, we don't want electric because we didn't do electric. So we're gonna have to use this as our main guy. This is a million dollars, all right? So we're gonna use him. So we're gonna add him to the train. Now we're gonna build a train down here. Now our cargo wagons, we're gonna need something that does fuel. So if we look here, this does fuel, 18 capacity, and it's a tinker car, all right? So let's add, three of these for now it's gonna cost us 20 million dollars all right so let's put those all on there actually we just screwed up <laughs> all right let's sell this guy yes sell this guy nope cancel nope sell this guy that's fine sell that guy all right we didn't get all our money back so i need to go back in here let's go to upgrade all right so uh we have this okay replace vehicle no we just want to add a car we need to add this okay so we need to add that plus that plus that all right so that's all we needed to really do and um and then let's go ahead and put diesel add this is one vehicle to be replaced uh you know what let's just start over i think i freaking screwed up so can we modify this replace vehicle configure maintenance uh clone edit selected vehicle there we go that's what we need to do so now we need to go to cargo and we just add these okay there we go add 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 okay so there we go modify that all right so it's got three cargo containers and it's done right so now what we need to do is we need to go to this train and we need to say put it on that gas line all right so that's good so it's going to go from there to there all right and now all we need to do is go over here and pick this guy buy vehicles 
let's go down here and see what's ones have or which ones are for this so we do have this so i only need like one each so let's buy this for right now click on him we'll put him on san jose fuel supply one all right and then we'll buy another one and then we'll put actually boop, just buy one and we'll put him on the other San Jose line. So this will be supply two. <clears throat> and we should be good to go, guys. Let's see if this works, all right? So let's put this in motion. We'll go ahead, what does this say? Um, What is this? Ontario Energy. Yeah, I know I'm losing like a crap ton of money off of those guys. So we'll get those fixed here in a second. All right, so let's do this. Let's go see if we can find our train. All right, here it comes out of the station. All right, so he's gonna be working. He's gonna be making his way over here. Let's go back over here to where our gas is. Where are we at? Over here. Cool. And you can see that these guys are probably are already going to need some more platforms. Oh, street No, I don't want to do that. Cargo. There we go. Street access. Let's do that for him. And this guy here is producing a lot more. So we need to do the same thing for him. All right. And so hopefully by the time he gets here, he's going to drop off this oil to here. This oil should automatically go on to the storage yard. It should. All right. Let's see. Is our train even close? No, it's not here yet. So the it's going to deliver the supply here. Boom. All right. So it did. So all these oil tankers right here are going to go on our train. All right. So this guy here is going to do the same thing. Now he has got 30 sitting in inventory and he's got 12. All right. So we could probably go ahead and do it again so let's buy uh the tanker vehicles one each buy and then we're going to put that on that san jose supply all right and then we'll buy another one and we'll put him on the other one all right so this one all right so now we have two trucks going there two trucks going there we have a nice supply here of 13. now we have a lot more all right so you gotta remember our tanker truck our, our, our tanker trucks our train that's coming carries 18 times three. So what is that, 54? So it should pick up almost all of these, or it will pick up all these. It might even get close to 54 if we can get both of these trucks to pick up all this gas. This guy down here is producing a lot more gas than this one. So they will stay here, it's auto saving. So you'll see this guy will stop and he's loading. So what we could do here, we can put this on pause. We can put this on pause. We can actually tell this guy, I'm pretty sure you can tell him to stay until you're full. And I think that has to do with this route right here. Okay, so at San Jose, it's right here. So let's go to San Jose. There's load if available or load. Uh, let's see, what's well, not what we want. Um, let's see. Uh, loaded if available minimum stop time there used to be a thing that it would stay until it's full uh let's see terminals yeah it doesn't really say i'll have to look into that i know that there is so it's it's almost halfway full which is good all right so but by the time he goes back and comes back these guys are going to be loaded up here for sure all right so let's go ahead and let this guy go all right you can already see these guys are loading independence gas i'm pretty sure it has to do with this you know what it might actually have to do with the actual train that's on the line so let's go to this and do this train and then can we modify him um it doesn't look like it. okay i'll have to look into that so this guy's gonna ship all his stuff all the way back to here i know that's a long way but once we get this one going it's gonna allow us to then produce gas for this place and then this is a much shorter track than what we're doing over here and i can use this gas to supply some of these plastic places all right so that's why we're doing this for right now and then eventually this will be a hub for some other um things that we have so maybe we bring the grain over here as well and then we'll have a train line that carries the grain from to and from places so that's the whole premise of this but this is our first train track i'm pretty excited it's kind of cool i'm gonna go like right here and watch this guy come right across here got a little screenshot of that that was cool and we'll see all right currently this guy is losing me almost a million dollars <laughs> but that's because <clears throat> it's a slow process on the trains for right now but once we get enough eventually this this guy will probably have if not enough uh fuel tankers on the back so here's what we got to look at we got to see if this will supply this 
Okay, that's the big question. Or it's just going to keep it in here. If it does, then we got to buy a vehicle that goes to and from this place here. So it's going to come in here. All right, you can see he's in a million, $1.24 million loss. Let's see how much he gets for selling this. And they did get it. So I do not need a truck here. That's great. So he almost broke even. All right. So I think what's going to happen is once he gets back here, how much fuel supply do we have here now? Almost too much. 108. All right. So he's got two train loads full of stuff. All right. So we could actually go into our trains. All right. Let's go into our trains. This guy here. Click on him. We're going to modify him. All right. We're going to actually add. Uh, let's add another one. And let's add another one. So that's 90 capacity. Okay. You also have to watch uh, this number here, the 105 meters, because our train stations are only so long. So if we click on this, they only, like if we were to buy another train station, we can go in here and look. You can see if I do cargo terminal and we put it down. Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. Let's delete that. I just lost a bunch of money. Delete that. You can see when we buy these things right here, you can tell it how long you want it. So yeah, that's that. So we have, we had this one set to 160. So we can go up to 160. All right. So he's moving his way around. We're making a ton of money, by the way, we're up to 47,000 or 47, or 37 million. This right here looks like he's got way too much grain going on. So let's put him some more places to store, which means they could probably take more bread here. They still don't have any stored. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's look at what line that is. That is this line here. So that is, let's find the yellow line. Is it this one? No, it's not coal. It's this one. All right. So grain three. So let's look at like the grain three. This one here. We only got two trucks. Can we upgrade those trucks? These guys are, uh, let's see, details. They are good, age six years. Okay, so can we upgrade them to anything that's newer? That seems to be, uh, maybe not. So this is bread, so it's not even, I think these are these guys. Yeah, it is, it's these guys. So we could actually buy, let's buy some more vehicles for that route, all right, buy vehicles grain let's do let's do three okay we'll put all those on this grain line right there all right they should come out and come here and load first hopefully let's see let's check this guy let's see if he loads if he doesn't we'll turn him around all right load up please he didn't okay let's turn him around all right none of these guys are going to want to turn around so this is the this is the problem i had when i bought them the first time even if i turn them around they end up turning around right here i believe yeah so we need to tell them stop, turn around, and then go. Because they're going to waste me a whole bunch of money if they don't come here first. There. All right, cool. So we need to grab these other two guys. And that's one of them. Stop, turn around, go. And then here's the other guy. Stop, turn around, go. All right, so this guy should probably have grain in him now. He doesn't have any grain. <laughs> oh my god, why don't you have any grain? Oh, he's not hit. That's not him, is it? There he is right here. Is this him? He doesn't have any grain either. Why are you guys not picking up the grains? He is. Okay, cool. All right, so we got it fixed. All right, did our train pick up its stuff? Oh, it did. Here it comes. All right, let's check this out. Is he full? He's completely full. 90 of 90. So you can see this time he's only at $614,000 negative. Before he is a million and four. So this is going to let us know if he's going to be uh, profitable, I guess you could say. So let's check this out. This is equivalent of like six truckloads of fuel, basically. And watch this number pop up here. $4 million. And it filled up that entire yard. That's excellent. All right. So they are storing fuel. That's what I want, I want to happen. And then if we go back over here, this thing is in it completely filled. All right. So uh, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> So we probably need to add, let's go over to our train guy here. And let's see, he is, uh, let's see, let's go to our train, this guy here, and let's modify him. He is 105, so we could add, we could add that. That's 126 capacity, all right? Let's modify him. So he's gonna be 126 capacity. This is what I was afraid of, but that's fine. We could actually, if we wanted to, we could loop these. Uh, or we could create another stop, which could be something that we could do. But that's that's how that's going to work, guys. So I think that's all we're going to do today. I want to set up this. And like, I, like I'm going to do again is I'm just going to play around uh, with some other ideas for trains. 
but you can see we're we're not losing any money so we're in we're doing pretty well as it stands uh the one thing that we have to do though is kind of go into here and just see where we're losing money and right now we're not losing any money anywhere hopefully let's go all the way down this guy's losing us a little bit of money but these are those are the new guys right there and then uh those guys are losing a little bit of money this guy's losing us a ton of money but he does have a supply uh i don't know why he's losing so much money and then these guys here jackson all these guys guys here doesn't look they don't look like they're making any money at all and this is the two new guys that are delivering food all right so that's cool so here we're gonna have to i guess platforms um is that are these platforms i just don't know which side do you put the cargo on it doesn't seem to like want to load it there cargo buildings uh we could do this 60 cargo items 80 cargo items we could put that like right there i guess that's kind of cool. So if we click on this now, is it putting them into here, terminals? It's not putting them in, in into any of them. All right, so this one's just going to keep getting filled up. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, smack the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I will see you next time. And we'll probably have some uh, trains going everywhere. Uh, if we look at the overall map, we are just in this back little corner of this whole entire world. We haven't even got anywhere across the river, and this goes on for a long time. So I will see you next time, guys. It's been real fun.